Well, as I remember, and uh, you started this prayer. Yeah, right? Yes. Of course, and now we're going to start with spirit classes, right? Yes. Okay, well, let's see what do we have. We have some spirit classes, so I think we read this one. And I think we need to start with part two. Yeah. Oh. Of course. So I remember that we read this word. Yeah. And we answered. Yeah. Because, you know, on the next page there are descriptions. So I remember that we read descriptions. And, of course, we write the correct letters. <coughs> so now yes. we're going to start with part two. Okay, this one. Well, free time. Okay, so tell me what do you do in the free time? Um, I usually uh, listen to music and play games. Uh, sometimes I read a book uh, to make me have a uh, have have a knowledge. Yes. Oh, so that's perfect. So sometimes you read. You know that reading. ING firm after some times it's not really suitable. So uh, let's use uh, present simple. Sometimes a read it's really good. And what kind of book? So like educational books? Uh, no, I that uh, it's like uh, um wait. So, uh, I, I, I can't to remember this word. Okay. You can't read just, you know, after modals like can't, uh, never used to. Okay. Just can't remember. Roman, romance novel. Ah, romance novels. That's perfect. Yes. <coughs> yeah, very good. Uh, and honor, honor, honor book. Horror, you mean? Um, like a horror book. Yeah. So they're two different genre, definitely different, but that's really good. <laughs> well, so reading books, perfect. Okay. So let's see. Let's get started. Okay, complete what the people say with the words in the box. I'm really into, so I love being in place. So what? Ars, ars, I really into ours. I love being in place. Ours, I really into video. No. No, I love being in place. So what is that? Like ours. Sorry, now I have a, I have a lot of stomach cake. Oh, so so okay. I can ah, wait for you. I went to stage. I love being I love being in place. Okay, so so what can I do for you? You want me to wait for you? Yes. Of course I will. Of course. Take your time. Uh, no, now we can to uh, do exercise, but I have a uh, lot of headache. But uh, don't not, don't worry. Is um, oh, so you have headache, so you're not feeling well. Yes. Oh, do you want me to? Uh, OK, let me do something. Do you want me to? Uh, I don't know, reschedule your class for another day if you're not feeling well. I uh, know it's OK <laughs> because it's OK <clears throat> if, if you're not feeling well at all. So. Uh, because uh, you know, the only thing nice. that I can do it is to reschedule it for another day so you can take rest. The only thing that I can do for you. So if you uh, need it, it's OK. Uh, today is school is still normal, but uh, mm, sorry. 
No, um, don't be sorry. I actually I can I can understand. I think you're down or I don't know you're not feeling well. I can understand, but uh, uh, can yes, can sorry. I? Mm. You what, my dear? What? No, I think now we should to uh, study. Oh. Don't worry about it. Just, just you know. Okay, just you relax. So don't worry about it. Just tell me what you want to say and shoot to no. Just shoot. You think we should study? Of course we should study. But tell me if you're not feeling well. So it's okay. So we can start another day. Okay. Uh, now, um, <clears throat> um, I think uh, we can study. Yes, study today. Okay, oh, uh, perfect. I I have a headache, but oh. I came to do exercise and study oh. with you. Uh, of course, of course. Well, so that's great. So let's keep going. But you know, whenever you feel like that you're not feeling well and you can't continue, let me know, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, so uh, let's keep going. I'm really into, I love being plays. So it can be play, can be movie, play, can be on stage, for example, theater. So what? Uh, I think it's stage. No, no, if you have, okay, so into. We don't say I'm into stage because stage is totally different. So how about drama? Drama? I love being, yeah, of course, drama. So for nice. example, for example, you know that stories. So when we say drama, so of course it can be anything. For example, a written work that tells story. And then you can act on stage. You can have a role. So um, it can be drama, right? Yes. Very good. So this role, actually this play can be movie, can be television production. Okay. So when we say drama, of course, it's like a story and you can have a role in that story so you can act on stage. That is really good. So I'm really into drama. I like drama. So I love being in plays. It feels. Um, it feels right being up on the stage. Perfect. Front, up on the stage, top. of course. Yes. Um, sorry, but I have a stop row and my pronunciation is have a lot wrong. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's so, so you, okay, you've had cold? Yes. <laughs> oh, because, you know, as you can hear and as you can see, <laughs> I've had cold. It's so bad. You so. too. <laughs> 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 yeah, of course. But you know, well, and uh, I don't want to do it as a job, but as fun to do in your free time. I often organize a movie night at a weekend. I invite a few friends, and the we, we what? Mm. A takeaway. Takeaway. So, or I think it's a few friends and we order Perfect. order a takeaway very good we order a takeaway of course and my favorite films are so horror movies <laughs> perfect horror movies especially really scary ones and I'm quite creative, so I do a lot of art classes in my free time. I'm reading because I feel like you uh, have so through it, so because of this, it's a bit difficult to read. But if you want to read, of course you can. Are making sculpture out of wood. I also making my own five minutes video, which I put online for friends to watch. 
Great job. Perfect. Very good. OK, and now write the questions and answers using present perfect or past simple. So first, where you go on holiday last year? So first of all, tell me if you need to use past simple or present perfect, which one? Uh, the signal of past symbol. Of course, past simple. Very good. So last, last year. Our so how how to make question? First of all, let's make question. Our, I think uh, this is our WH question. So we write the first word is square. Where um where did you go? Did you <laughs> where Excellent. did you go on holiday last year? Very good. Where did you go on holiday last year? Perfect. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> the next one mm. is Matta still here. No, she just live. Yeah. <laughs> OK, uh, no, she's just left. Just, you know, here you know that here you need to use present perfect. So she she has just left. She has just left, especially because of just. So of course, you can use just for passing, but here is better to use present perfect. She's just left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. So because let me say something, for example, do you say just? Five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, just now. OK, just left. So you don't want to mention the exact time. So it's better to use present perfect. So say no. She's but you know that this she's is she has. Just uh, she left. So she's just left. She has just left. OK, this is a present perfect. Of course, present perfect. So do you know the structure of, pre of present perfect? Uh, yes. Mm. Okay, very good. Our positive a subtract uh, plus has. Have uh, or has. Yes, and plus verb three plus object. Yeah, okay. And you know that past participle of verb. Have and uh -huh. has and past participle of verb. So if the verb is regular, ed form. If that is irregular, you need to change. Go, yes. went, gone. So uh, you know that past participle, of course, is you for present perfect. And there are some words that maybe, you know, you can consider them as signs of present perfect, like already, yet. So yet, already, so they are um, used normally. Yeah, of course, they're normally used with present perfect. OK, this one. Don't forget to order the tickets online and. Don't forget ours is. <coughs> it's OK. I. I real I already. To did it huh? to. Oh. Ours. Ah. Uh, Let's talk about the structure. This uh, one is, yeah. When we uh, use. This. Why so we can. Um. Why we can. Hit that. Um. This. Let me the, say. Distinguish our past. Uh, present perfect. OK, so let me say that is really important. So pay careful attention. Look, this is let me show you something. Look. Past. Present. OK. When something happened in the past and finished completed action, for example, I say on Sunday, I went out on Sunday. 
So it's done, finished. OK, so I use past simple. Now I want to talk about an action that happened in the past in a period of time or maybe it continues to the present. Maybe a period of time or continues to the present. So, for example, I say. I have lived, for example, in this city for 10 years for oh. it's period of, yeah of course period of time so i do say i lived so here it means for a period of time i've lived so yeah of course you will learn that yeah you will use passable for 10 years when having pre but when it's completed and done it's finished now you don't live I've lived means I started living since past to the present, so I've lived. Or for example, when we have already, when we have yet, let's see how we use these two. When I say I've already done something, for example, I say, okay, uh, have you done your homework yet? Have you, have you done your homework yet? First of all, oh, let me see what I'm typing. Okay, okay. Let me make it a little bigger. I can see what I'm typing. Okay. This one, well, now it's better. What it means, have you done your homework yet? Actually, yes, is yes uh. when making questions in present perfect. And it's like, make my question negative. I mean, didn't you do that? And yes. you, want say, you want to say that, of course I did, even before the time that you expect. Earlier. So how to say, you say, oh, teacher, I've already done it. It means, yeah, maybe earlier, sooner. So I've already, I have already done it. It's done. <coughs> For example, uh, one hour ago. That's not one hour ago, just it's done. So I've already done it. Before uh, the time that you expect. Yeah, like you can remember us the the verb of uh, the verb three and verb two is have a is have a lot of word oh. <laughs> different <laughs> words. So, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> no, it's not so difficult. difficult. <laughs> no, when you use so if you use a lot, of course you don't need to memorize all of them at once. Just you know, for example, let's get started today. I want to memorize no. One by one, for example, today I want to learn three verbs. We have a list. I will send the list of verbs and you can have them. Try to, for example, OK, pick up and then do and for example, go today. These three verbs. OK, so I learned then another three. So that is one by one, step by step. You can learn them, so it's OK. No, you oh. won't get confused. Just you need to know the structure. So when I say I've already done it, it means don't worry. Actually, I bought the tickets maybe, I don't know, one hour ago, one day ago, so don't worry about it. Okay, so that is the meaning of already here. And yet only used, okay, in question and negative. I haven't done my homework yet. I, oh. yeah, haven't done my homework yet oh i need to still continue i need to complete it i haven't done it yet so i have the rest of my homework so for negative and question we use yet for affirmative um. positive sentence you can use already but it's not like every time that you make no when you need it, you use already. If you don't, you can say, I've done it. 
That's OK. I've already done it. It means before the time you expect. For example, I expect you do your homework today, but you send it to me yesterday. You say, teacher, I've already done my homework one day earlier. Get it? Yes. OK, very good. Now let's keep going. The next one. Yes. When do when when did you move to this town? Perfect. And we have exact time two years ago. Aww. OK, just I have the time so I can easily use a past simple. OK, do you have any questions related to this part? Mm, I don't have any question, but I I need to study uh, resident perfect too much. Uh, oh, so uh, for the first actually thing that you need to do only try to practice one affirmative negative question have and has. So how to make that is really good. Sub easy subject. Are you she he? So we have. Subject. Then have or has, of course, depends on the subject. So, for example, she has, he has, it has, and past participle of verb. For question, um, have or has, and subject, and past participle. For negative, again, subject or subject pronoun, have or has, must, and past participle. And then you will practice ever, never, already, yet. Now you need to practice this word. So I have and just you need to pay attention carefully when you want to give time expression like in your period of time. You have two words since and for how to use them. I, for example, have lived in this city, for example, since 10 years ago since means from for example here i started living this one 10 years ago to now or for 10 years for 10 years period of time so since and for are used with present perfect to give the time since means from the beginning for a period of time okay now i yes. want you i want you to make two sentences using since and for using scenes and for make two sentences in present perfect oh uh. <clears throat> uh, can you tell me uh, the signal of presence perfect? As I told you, now I want you to make present perfect sentences using since and okay. for. Oh. This. Yeah. <clears throat> for example, uh, how long have you studied English? How long? This is the question for present perfect. How long have you started? Uh, I have. I have studied English. Um, when? When no. Uh, Since or for? When I was five years old. 
since I was when? No, since I was five year old. Okay. Oh, since I was five years old. Perfect. That is good. Now, using mm -hmm. four, let me ask another question. Uh, tell me, have you have you traveled? Have you traveled to, for example, Singapore? Uh, Singapore. Uh, I have. I have. Uh, gone to Singapore. Uh, say, uh, since uh five years ago, uh, no, three years ago. Okay. Uh, you, oh, so. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, three years. Um. Oh. Oh, how to answer this question? Let me say. So I say, have you ever, have you traveled? First of all, yes or no? You say, yes, teacher. Yes, I have. The answer is, yes, I have. But you don't want to talk about a period of time now. You want to give me the time. So here you answer using past simple. You say, yes, I have. I went, for example, three years ago because you did it just once when you say i have been to singapore for three years it means you live there for three years or i've gone for three years again it means you went and you stayed for three years so no you need to answer using past simple because you give me the exact time two weeks ago for example I went out yesterday. I don't say I have gone. I say I, I went out yesterday. It's done. And you went and then it's done, finished. So we say I went three years ago. But the first answer, that is short answer, yes, I have. And then past simple. Now, let me say, uh, how long, how long have you lived in your city, in the city that actually now you live? Mm, I have lived in my city or uh, size for 14, for 14 years ago. Okay, so since 14 years ago, yeah, since 14 years ago, yeah, very good. And uh, tell me, have you ever tried Chinese food? Have. Uh, have you tried Chinese food? Uh, yes, I have. Perfect. Yes, I have. Now you want to say when? Past simple. When did you eat? Uh, yes, I have. Or uh, I try. I tried Chinese food. Uh, when I was when I was sixth grade. Very good. Perfect. When you were in sixth grade. Yeah, that is the answer. That is the correct answer. Okay. Oh. Get it? Yes. Okay. Very good. Well, and then first. You practice these structures, okay? And then again, we practice already and yet. Now, don't focus on them because you may, I don't know, get confused when using present perfect, already, yet, at the same time. Just here, you need to focus on for and since and structure of present perfect, okay? Yes. Good. Well, and now let's see. Okay. You're the same. <laughs> why? Why they look like? Yeah, why we have the same things? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the people below all want to find a new free time activity. On the next page, there are descriptions of eight clubs. Decide which club would be the most suitable for the following people. For one to five, write the correct letter A to H. So, uh, first of all, so you want to read them one by one? Okay. Uh, Emma loves using her imagine, 
image imagination in a creative way she loves working on projects with other people and she would like to visit place and see creative people at work <coughs> As i read number two you do you need to read the paragraphs now or no how do you want to do this you can okay. read i think so this is the method that you first of all read all the questions underline the keywords and then move on to the text read and try to find the answers okay. so yeah i think the keywords of number one is imagination and i think love is a keyword yeah, she loves walking. Yeah, of course, project. And this one? We, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number two. <clears throat> Paco loves making things and he enjoys meeting people from other sculpture, sculptures. <clears throat> he would like to learn a skill that he can use outside the class. So make making things as people try meeting culture or uh, learn a skill outside the class. Very good. Number three. Uh, I mean I mean interest and serious is sure. She in she enjoys listen to talks and learning about life in other countries. She would also like to discuss her idea and opinions with other people. <coughs> uh, interest and serious inter uh, listen to talk. Learning about life in other country. Yes. Discuss her idea and opinion with people. Of course. Other people course. Well, and for Nico? Nico enjoys going to different places and meeting people from different backgrounds. He is also keen to find out about the place where he lives. He is especially interested in history. Especially interested in history. And different race, um, background, into find the place. Oh. Okay, and it's just interested in history. And last one, five. Erica yeah. is keen to have other people see, enjoy events where there are crowds of people she wants to learn skills she can she can use in a job when she finish finishes her studies. Of course, events, crowds, learn skill. Yes, and finishes, of course, she finishes studies. Okay, now let's read the first paragraph. Uh, the yes, uh, the what Paris? I think. Do you want to know more about international events? We met once a week for an inf informal dis discussion. Each week we watch a film from around the world, and are invite <coughs> speakers to help us understand recent events. At our next meeting, we are showing film about it. Wake rescue, 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 rescue yeah. teams. Oh, so which one? Some problems, earthquake, and I think, so um, I think ours is is ours nearly nearly similar. What? Which one? Uh, mm hmm Is that? Oh, uh, can you show? Can you show me a uh, letter A? 
You can say Array scroll down, scroll event. down. Event. Event. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know. Okay, I know so don't forget right about look international event event from yes. the countries. Okay. Yes. Discussion and we have earthquake. Now let's match them. Of course, you won't see exactly the same word synonyms. So which one can be? Not this one. Exactly. No creative. No, nothing. This one. Yes. No meeting people. How about this one? I think it's interesting to uh, listen to listening to talk and learning about life in other country. Of course. She's Oh, can you see we have some keywords here? Serious issue. Don't you think that earthquake is really important issue problem? That is earthquake. So of course it's really serious. Yeah. So this yes. is like yeah. And the next one, other countries. Okay, international. Other countries discuss discussion. So we have keywords, we have synonyms, so we can say three, can match, number, actually the first one is A, okay? And now yes. B, let's see, maybe, and just let me say something, sometimes you can't find any answer in one paragraph. So it's actually, there is no rule that every paragraph includes an answer. No, sometimes no. B, let's read game and chat. Computer games? Yes. <clears throat> uh, I read the paragraph. Of course. Games and chat. We met once a week to play computer games. We give our views on new games and talk about games past and present. We we also organize trips to sh game shows to see how designers come up with, with new ideas and create and create create new games you will discover a good new world one whole you will discover whole whole new world oh. all whole of course oh so what do you think can you find anything uh, related to us <coughs> it's similar with Letter one. I don't number, number one. one. <laughs> number one. Um, I'm not uh, sure about I, it. I you see know why? Create. Okay, yeah. Let me say something. Yes, we have create, but do you think it's enough? Just one word? Just create? Is that enough? What other words? Do we have anything about computer games? Do we have anything about organizing trips? Do we have anything about game shows? Do we have anything about designers? Nope. Just one word. Create and not about this person. It's about all the people. So what do you think? I don't think it can be a good match. How about you? Um, what do you think? I think <coughs> Can't wait. I read old, old again. Hmm. Yeah. Can help other people? No, no, no. Well, I think nothing. How about you? Yes. Or uh, I no, can see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, so not this paragraph. Paragraph C. Let's see how about this. Did you read? At the party plus. We are looking for new people to help us. We organize trips, parties, and concerts to raise money <coughs> for local charities. It's, tra it's challenging, challenging work, and you have to work with a wide range of people, you, but you will have a lot to offer future employers, and you will make a difference. Well, let's see. Well, which one? Mm. Help people, a lot of people. So, Us. parties, concerts, events. 
Mm. You, I, I know, I know you, you choose number five. <laughs> of course. Yeah, because this is, I, I try to help. <laughs> so do you agree? If, if you, if you don't agree, of course, we can change it. I'm trying to help. So I say nothing. For the next one, I will say nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just no help. Well, let's see. So number five. Us, okay. <laughs> can you explain yeah. for me why is number five? Of course, yes. As I told you, let me show you one by one. Look, new people help street parties concert. Look, help other people. Event, what is event? Event, event can be any celebration. It can be party, it can be, for example, concert. So every, it can be gig, so events. Where there are crowds, crowd means a lot of people. So let's see, street parties, concert, a lot of people, yeah? You have to work uh, with wide range of people, a lot of people. <clears throat> you will have a lot to offer future employers, okay? And uh, you make a difference. So we have some keywords, more than one. They can match, yeah? Uh, <clears throat> I have her opinion. Yes, yeah. uh, she said uh, she wants to learn skills. She can use a job when she finished her study. Yeah. Uh, can you can you show me letter I letter C? Of course. Uh, in the letters at the letter C, uh, they say uh, we organize risk party and yeah. concert to raise money to local charities. Charities is or uh, is the feminine the feminine good volunteers. Okay, so of course, it's like, you know, when you are uh, to help people, especially raising money for local, of course, of course you are volunteer, so you want to do something. And let me help you, look at this one, employers, future employers, you have a lot to offer. So you will work for someone and you will offer a lot of things. So let's talk about your future. If you learn skills, like you can use in a job. It means you can offer to employ who is employer. If I offer you a job, I'm your employer. And if you work for me, you are employee. I'm employer because I give you the job. I offer you. You are employee because you will work. So this is a definition of this part, okay? So we can say that this one is really good match. Agree? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Let me say something that is really important. Pay careful attention. In reading is really important, even in the future when you will sit for your IELTS test. Listen. Paraphrase. Oh. Paraphrase. Synonyms, words. As do uh, uh, are you what are you watch a movie, uh, the movie films? No, <laughs> if you have time, I watch. Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know? Are there new movies? Are for Venom? Oh no, I haven't watched. So, uh, so tell me on Netflix. Can I watch it on Netflix? Now, or is it's uh, in a cinema because it's so um uh it's just came out. Yeah, okay. So unfortunately, I actually I watched Venom um, many years ago. I think it was the first one, the first film. I remember that it was horror movie, and it was a good one actually. It was about a black girl. I remember, but now about this one, no, because unfortunately I don't have time. But maybe I will wait. <laughs> then I will watch it on Netflix <laughs> because I don't have time oh. to go to the cinema. <laughs> I don't have time. So, but maybe later. Ah, so your favorite genre is horror movie? Ours. No, it's, it's an action movie. No, 
I can't. Nope. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I don't want to. So, but um, I like my, you know, I'm a big fan of animation. And I have watched all animations. <laughs> so, yeah, just whenever I have time and I can, I watch animations because uh, they make me feel better. Like, I didn't know. They're good. So, um, my favorite genre. Animated movies. How about you? Uh, oh, can you ask again? Sorry, but I can't yeah, well, hear you. Uh, just I ask you, how about you? Do you like animation? Yes, I very like animation. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's like to do, do you know a Conan movie? What movie? A Conan movie. I I haven't watched. Could you briefly explain it, describe it so that I remember if I watched or not? Uh, what is it about? Uh, Conan, a uh, uh, detective Conan. No. Uh, I, do you watch uh, Do you watch Doraemon film? Oh no, no, it's a bit oh, it's a bit different. Let me say. Okay, so it's not it's anime or animation. Uh no. Animation is art uh, Doraemon is the kind of animation. Yeah. Uh, I I, oh, I I I know you I know you think animation is cartoon. No, no, uh, no, no, no animation. You know that for example, uh You've seen uh, the song? No. Or, uh, for example, cartoon Upside Down, Inside Out, or, for example, uh, what other? Frozen. I didn't know different cartoons. Or we have one up. There are animations that, you know, I liked. So, but about um, the one that you said, no, I haven't watched. Well, maybe later. So you said Detective Conan? Uh, can you add in uh, my 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 uh, connect? Uh, my oh, connect. Not, okay. My Wi-Fi is half uh, wrong. OK, so it's laggy. So let me say again. So I said I will watch maybe later. I will watch. Uh, um can you hear me it's it's so laggy me. ah it's so laggy right you can't hear me um uh, maybe a little bit how about now can you hear me now uh yes now it's no more okay well so i said i will watch later i would definitely watch uh, well of course because that is my favorite genre so i will watch everything about this genre so just maybe sometimes i don't like them sometimes but most of the time i like animation so asian uh, animations or of course my country so no worry so because i i watched i watched um some japanese animations uh, on Netflix, spread away. Wow, perfect. Uh, that was uh, really do you know the the at uh, the the name of film have a uh, Iron Man, is that or uh, Thanos and C Captain America? The name of that film is. Do you remember Captain America? Yes. Uh, so. Adventure, uh, yes. Uh, do you know our adventure? Adventure film. Of course. Of course I know. Can you hear me? I no, it's it's very difficult to hear you. Oh, so maybe you need to check the connection. Yes. Yeah. Actually, 
actually, you know, the, uh, you know, your um, genre is a bit different from the genre that I like because you know you like uh, action or adventurous action movies, but you know my genre is a bit different. So because of this, <laughs> so you like, yeah, yes. you like Captain America, yeah, of course you like Captain America. But you know, actually, <laughs> maybe I like an, another one. So totally different. So <laughs> Ice Age, for example. So how, what do you think about Ice Age? Ice. Ice. Age. Ice. Ice uh, Age. I don't know that film. How about Shrek? Shrek? Yeah, Shrek. Uh, no. <laughs> they are my favorites. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I, do you know our uh, the new film are uh, the new films is so are the new new films okay uh oh we have uh, actually recently us do yeah. you know our uh, last robot this the is a new film the last robot uh, uh i haven't watched but I remember that it's of course it was not animation. So let me say uh, my name is I forgot. Uh, I remember that. Uh, Will Smith acted the movie about robots. It was really interesting movie, but I, I don't remember the name of it and I really liked it. So I need to think about the name so. My name is what? I don't remember, but it was about oh. robots. Yeah, of course, it was really good. But you know, now whenever I have time, I watch some animation, especially, I don't know, not really action, like dramas or for example, maybe not romantic, just we can say dramas, maybe. And yeah. But watching animation is really good. Well, so what was the last film that you watched? Us uh, what? What was the last film that you watched? Uh, the uh, <laughs> the last films I watched. Uh, you ensure that? Yeah, you watched. Uh, the last film I watched. Oh, I can't understand your answer, your question. Oh, OK, so what what is the name of the movie? The last movie that you watched? Ours, the Ve Ours, the Venom. Ah, oh, Venom. Uh, I, for yeah. I forgot, I forgot <laughs> that name, but the, yes. Or I, I watch, I watch that film or in, yeah. at, in the morning yesterday. Yeah, oh, good. OK, well, so. But uh, how about Zootopia? Watched it? That is animation. Oh, no, it's um action film. Ah, that was that. Uh, no, yours was horror, but I'm talking about animation. Oh, uh, animation. Uh, yes, it's have a lot of animation. Yeah, because, you know, I have no idea about action films because I normally don't watch. It's like, you know, it's not my thing, so I don't watch. But, you know, about uh, animations, so I have a lot, a list of best animations that you can watch. So Asian, American, because I'm into animated films. Well, um. OK, well, so. Uh, actually, we have this one. I will talk about paraphrasing. That is really important and you need to learn this method and it will uh, help you to find the answers very easily. Just, you know, because you don't know the method, but you need to know. I will tell you how to find the reading answers very quickly. So you don't need to read it. You don't need to understand the whole meaning. For example, the whole paragraph meaning. So we will yeah. talk about paraphrasing, synonyms, definitions, and keywords. Why we underline the keywords? Because we have a reason for it. 
you think that, okay, I underline keyword, maybe I can find it. No, we underline keyword because we will look for the synonyms or definitions, not the same words. Maybe I can see creative in the text. I can see a synonym. Maybe I can't see a synonym, but I can find a definition, explanation about it. So that is the definition and the concept of paraphrasing that we will discuss at the next session, okay? Yes. Well, so let's skip this part. Do you have any questions related to this one you want to ask me? Uh, no, I don't have a <laughs> question. So I will. No, I don't. Just you know, three words. No, I don't. And uh, for example, no, thank you. No, I don't. Or uh, not yet. Or for example, these answers. So first we give short answer. So we don't say, no, I don't have any question. And you shouldn't make long answer. Well, and oh. I will check your writing and I will give you the result tomorrow. OK? Yes. Well, just take care. OK, rest, drink warm water because of your sore throat. Rest and if you need, go to doctor, OK? Yes. I hope you get better very soon. Uh, yes, uh, see you tomorrow. I have some work. OK, thank you. Bye bye. See, see you, you soon. Next session. Goodbye.